Hey, how's it going guys? This is going to be a real quick video explaining how to map a direct input controller with the XAIM plugin for use on your Cronus Max Plus. Now for those of you who do not know, a direct input controller is a specialized type of controller such as a flight stick or a steering wheel that are um, normally not compatible directly with the Cronus Max. Now by directly I mean plugging it straight into your Cronus Max and being able to use it with your console. So the XAIM plugin is used to emulate the signals to the Cronus. Now, to begin, what we'll do is open the plugin tab here, and we'll open up XAIM. We can then create a new empty layout, and we can name this whatever we like. Since I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, I'm just going to name mine Xbox 360 controller. Alright, so once we have this new layout created, as you can see we have all these little white boxes that are laid over a PlayStation 3 controller. The next thing we'll want to do is go under Layout Options, go into the Controller tab here, and we're going to select the, uh, the controller that corresponds to the console that we want to use. I'm going to be using the Xbox 360 controller on an Xbox One console. While this is normally compatible directly with the Cronus, for the sake of this video, pretend that this is a flight stick or some other type of controller. <laughs> so to begin mapping our buttons, we then need to tell XAIM to look for said direct input device. To do this, we go under the direct input tab up top, open direct input settings, and then under game controller, we're going to select the controller that we're using. Again, I'm using the Afterglow Xbox 360 pad. So that's what I'm going to select in this menu. It's always a good idea to move your thumbsticks around, pull your triggers, and press some buttons to make sure that everything's working properly. You can then close the device monitor, go back into the uh, direct input tab, and then verify that you have a little check mark next to where it says enabled. All right, so now we can map our buttons. This is actually just as quick and painless as having XAIM find the controller. To do this, we'll simply right-click over one of the, uh, the the white boxes that's laid over the button that we want to map, and we'll select Direct Input Catch. When the Please Press a Button box pops up, you can press the button that you want to map to the button on the XM controller here. So since I'm mapping the right trigger, I'm going to pull my right trigger, and as you can see, it's LRZ positive. Let's do the same thing for the left trigger, Direct Input Catch. And now it's LZ positive. That's just the, the label for the direct input button. So to map all the other buttons, you'll just follow this process through. You'll right click, direct input catch, left bumper, direct input catch, right bumper. And you can set these to be any button you want. So say for the left and right bumpers, if I want this to be A and B on my physical controller, all I'd have to do is right click, direct input catch, and then press A or B. And as you can see, it just changes the button. So let's go ahead and swap this back to the left bumper. And I'm going to map out the rest of these controls here. So there we go. Up, down, left, right. Uh, up, down, left, right. So catch, B, now we have X, and Y. Now we have the right thumbstick to map. We go up, put the middle button down, we go down, we go left, and then we go right. Alright, so now if Normally on when you're using a direct input device, you'd be able to right click over your home or the guide button or the Xbox button, whichever, uh, whichever term you want to use for the, uh, you know, the, the menu button on your controller. <laughs> and now when using an Xbox 360 controller, you are not able to map this guide button to the guide button on the, uh, the controller in XAIM. However, if I was to set any other button for it, say if I go direct input catch and I want A to activate the Xbox button here, I can have that. So you may need a 
a, um, a custom GPC script where you can activate a combination of buttons to activate a um, another button on the uh, on the controller that you may not be able to map due to limitations of your physical controller. In which case, I mean, all you have to do is create a, um, a script request thread. Uh, we have the visual scripting programmer tab down here in the bottom that's really easy to use. So uh, I, I really hope that this cleared things up and explained how to get this mapped. And um, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like this video if you liked it. And please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to view more of our videos, as this helps our videos get on the YouTube pages and get our videos out there to more viewers. Thank <laughs> you.